Now let's see this problem based on geometry. Suppose ABCD is a palogram. E and F are respectively midpoints of sides AB and CD. If BD diagonal intersects diagonal AF and EC respectively at P and Q, then which of the statements are true? Right? Now ABCD is a palogram. That means AB is equal to and parallel to CD and BC is equal to and parallel to AD. Right? Now, first of all, we see triangle ADF and CBE, okay, ADF and CBE, right? Now, this angle is equal to this angle, right? Because opposite angles in a parallelogram are same, right? So, this angle is equal to this angle. I assume this to be X and this to be X. Both of them are same, right? After that, this side is equal to this side because opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal. Similarly, CD is equal to AB that means half of CD that is DF and half of AB that is AE will also uh, DF will be equal to EB right half of CD that is DF half of AB that is EB right so that is this side is equal to this side this portion is equal to this portion and this angle is equal right so that is S A is congruence right that means triangle adf is congruent to triangle ecb right now so this much uh, this this one is true in any case right now if these two triangles are congruent that means all uh, the corresponding angles will also be same right so this side is equal to this side that means angle opposite to it and angle opposite to it will be same i assume both of them to be y right Apart from that, the third angle, this is suppose Z, then this will also be Z. Okay. Now what? Since this is a parallelogram, so this line must be parallel to this line and A, F is working as a transversal. So you, the, you can see this shape of Z over here. So this angle and this angle will be same as an alter as as a pair of alternate angles so if this is z this has to be z now you just see af and ec right this angle is z and this angle is also z that and both of them are corresponding angles that means if corresponding angles are same that means the lines are parallel so af is parallel to ec that is also true right now uh, since two of them are already two, true, we, you don't have to check for the third one. For your, but for your concept clarity, I just explain how DP, PQ and QB are equal, right? Otherwise, you can stop solving the problems further, right? All of them will be the answer. But uh, since your concept should be clear, I just explain. Now, listen to me carefully. You can see this triangle, this one, the bigger triangle, this one, that is DAB, right? Now, this line is parallel to this line right and e is the midpoint of a uh, line ab so eq will uh, be uh, eq is parallel to ap that means using basic proportionality theorem now this e is the midpoint so using basic proportionality theorem be by eb be by eb is equal to bq by qp bq by qp that is pq now be by EB, uh, ea i'm sorry be by ea both of them are equal so bq by pq will also be one right be by ea is one because be is equal to ea that means b and the be by ea is bq by pq so that is also one that is using basic proportionality theorem if this line is parallel to this line, then BE by EA is equal to BQ by QP is equal to PQ that we have proved. The first thing, BQ is equal to PQ. Now we take this bigger triangle that is DAB. Or it would be better if we take triangle DQC, right? So same funda is applied over here. This line is parallel to this line. That means DP by PQ will be equal to DF by FC, right? Just take this triangle. That would be rather simpler. So DP by PQ is equal to DF by FC and DF by FC is equal to 1. So DP by PQ will also be 1, right? So DP is equal to PQ. 
Now BQ is equal to PQ, DP is equal to PQ, that means BQ is equal to PQ is equal to DP. All the three things are proved, right? So a very simple question, friends, you need to be clear with the basics of geometry, nothing else. And basic proportionate theorem we have used over here. I hope you are clear.